Hey, what's going on guys? It's a freezing cold day on Mark's Aquatics. Look at that beautiful frost all over that Buddleia. Absolutely stunning. Mother Nature's been painting away again. All over the bushes, all over the fields. Me and Spuddy and the wife. Say hello to the people. Hello, hello. people. Hello. And little Spuddo over there. Freezing cold feet. We're out walking around. And what we're going to do today is we're going to look for some nice little bits of oak. And we're going to make some pleco hides back in the workshop when we get back. Spud just fell over. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop falling over on the ice, you silly boy. Huh? Yeah, everything's solid, isn't it? Spud's peeing on everything he can come across. But there used to be a big old oak tree right about here and it got cut down because it was a little bit rotten. So there might be a few sticks and things left in the bushes where the guys cut it up. So we can get some nice little tubes and we can chop some up and take it back. I've got my saw with me. Right guys, we've just come across this piece of fallen oak here off this big old, big old oak tree, which has come off in the wind at some point from right up the top and it's landed down here. So I've just been looking around and this bit here is going to be a nice for a couple of pleco caves to go in my zebra tank or in the in the other tanks with the tiger plecos with the king tigers so let's get this cut right that's that bit cut freezing hands let's go and see what else we can find in the ice we're not froze not yet but a lovely little stream what do you think spud what do you think you're gonna cross the little bridge you're gonna cross the bridge go on in you come on in. Come on in. You coming? Like hell I am. That water's freezing, he's saying. Ooh, let's get back to the workshop. Ooh, that's better, guys. Back in the workshop again. Got me a little 2 million kilowatt heater on. That's how much they cost to run, as we all know. Got the old coffee going. Right, what we got is our nice piece of oak. Nice and solid in the middle, not rotten at all. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to crush that frog. I've got my, I'll just uh, move you around slightly. I've got my crosscut saw down here on the floor and amongst all this mess. So I'm going to chop it in half on there. Obviously if you haven't got a circular saw, you're going to have to use a hand saw to do this. A pillar drill is really handy, okay? Like this one I've got here. It's only a small little pillar drill. And obviously you're not going to want to buy a pillar drill just to make these but another good trick which i do and i have done in the past okay now oh sorry what i'm going to use to drill the hole in is is a, is a bit it's called a forstner bit okay and it's that little bit there and that's going to go inside and cut me a nice hole all the way down there i can adjust this table but what i've done in the past is i've taken my cordless drill with me to the woods okay in a little rucksack with a saw in as well that's the saw i use one of these little collapsible little saws which is super sharp and then what i've done is if you imagine now that is still stuck to the tree on the limb of the tree like that get your cordless drill because that's lovely and solid on the tree still you can drill your hole in there okay and then you can cut it off the length you want it okay so it's it's, it's fixed in there nice and tight Obviously with a pillar drill now I can hold that nice and square. I'll cut that little kink off there so it's nice and level and then I can drill in the length of the bit either side and make two caves. So that's going to be good. So remember that little trick guys. Take your drill down into the woods and you can drill straight into the branch. Obviously cut it off first like that and then drill into it. Drill your hole. It'll be lovely and solid and then just cut it off with the saw just obviously past where you've cut. So you've still got a blanked off end and then you'll have a nice little mother nature type uh, hide for your plecos okay now I'm going to put this in here and they don't need to be extremely deep help if I did it the right way they don't have to be too deep all the male has to do is trap that female in there even if he's halfway in and you'll be fine. 
get that leveled up down there so we've got a nice distance and obviously you've got to make sure that I can get it under there so I'm only going to cut these about that sort of size which is um, probably only about four four inches long that's all you need obviously these are only going to go in that far unless you've got an extender piece on it that you can use I have got one somewhere but I know from past experience that that is all you're going to need okay right so I'm going to get this set up now well I've got it all set up now I've cut it in half when you think about it zebra pleco is only a little bit over sort of like maybe three inches maximum that's just over three inches you're going to get one in there and the male will be able to trap nicely in there that way just because it's a small cave it doesn't mean they're not going to trap believe me that male will trap that female in there until she lays those eggs and then he'll go in and fertilize them and that'll be great so what we've got to do now is nice and slowly now if you're going to do it with a pillar drill guys with tools please be careful these bits are super sharp pillar drills don't run very fast but obviously i'm going to have to hold this like so but i've got a large pair of the old grabbers there which you can adjust to hold what you want at certain grips I don't want to damage the bark too much but that's what I'm going to hold so you've got a nice long lever there now so if that wants to spin okay you're going to be okay and you're not going to get it's not going to take a bite as they say in the trade so you get that nicely centered up press play I think I'll adjust that one more little click yep yeah, that's the ones you want it so the handles are nearly tight so you can get a good grip on like that okay otherwise we don't want it spinning on us and then obviously just pull down you can see the center of the wood there near enough where the grain is I say that you probably can't the lighting's not brilliant I'll get my torch but you can see near enough so now we're going to find the middle and slowly plunge that drill in okay It's going to take a while but keep it going nice and slowly and there you see you're starting to cut that nice little hole out doesn't have to be 100% central don't forget the wood's not completely round so I'll stop you and I'll get back when I've done it okay right guys we're nearly there just a little bit to go just clean up that hole there we go now what I've done is I've done it just off center there oh, I'll just turn this off right I've done it just off center because what I want to do is I just want to run it down my circular saw that way okay and take a little strip right off the bottom there just so it stays nice and flat I've done both of them there you go look at that double barrel shotgun and we've now got Two lovely little pleco hides for my little zebras to go in and hopefully lay some more eggs give them give them a bit of a change but what we've got to do first is we've got to boil these and when we boil them that's going to force that all that air out of that wood and it's going to make it sink okay otherwise you're going to have to soak it for a while before we um before it'll go down so we're going to have to pre-soak that so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to chop the bottom off take that little edge off along the base there doesn't matter which way that way just to make a nice little flat edge that will sit upright and not roll around on the bottom of the floor in the aquarium right there you go guys all done I've just taken that little tiny edge off you see on my bandsaw if you've got a circuit a jigsaw you could do it with a jigsaw if you've got a vice if you don't want to do that don't forget like I said before when it's actually on the tree itself you could run your saw down that way first and then gauge out where your holes gonna be but it's still attached, drilling with your cordless drill that way. So you can do all this on the tree. 
so you don't need to have all this fancy gear to make them and then when we put them down there they're going to stay nice and flat on the base of your aquarium and that's them done guys that's how simple it is to make a couple of oak pleco hides and don't forget they're going to be anti fungicidal properties with wood as well like that's why we use it for chopping boards in the house because it's very good for getting rid of bacteria and stuff like that so fungus so once that's all been boiled away it'll it will collect a biofilm on it but then your fish are going to eat that as well they'll keep that nice and clean so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and give these a good boil up leave the bark on I think it'll look quite nice if the bark comes off in the boiling process not to worry but it should stay on and then we'll go and pop them in the tank and see what the uh, see what my little zebras think of them okay right there you go guys I'm on the uh, on the old top of the the cooker here in an old in an old saucepan and what I've done is I've just put them in boiling water potato masher on the top there just to hold them down and let that boil away for about 15 20 minutes just like a little rolling boil just like it is there you'll see the tannins coming out of the water already so that'll stop it leaching out into your into your aquarium later on and discolouring your water up. It won't do you obviously it won't do it any harm, but some people like crystal clear water and others aren't too fussed about it. But um, it's all beneficial tannins, so it's all good stuff. So we're going to leave them for 20 minutes, then hopefully they'll sink, and then we can pop them into the aquarium. Anyway, guys, while that is boiling away, I thought I'd show you the. Uh, What's been going on? You can see there's lots and lots of little babies shrimps hopping around on top of that cucumber. Look how small they are. Not long hatched those little guys and they're all over the place. Which is nice to see and also if we come up here, I'll just zoom back out again. All those plecos that were down in the King Tiger tank have all hatched and they're in this tank here. I keep them in here for a little while just so those little egg sacs get absorbed. Look at that lot. Probably another hundred or so there. Little bristle noses. The other ones are growing quite nicely now down below. Putting on some weight. There's a few more around the, the edge of the pot here. I think what I'll do is I might put the um, there's one of the zebras hiding under there. I was going to put them in here, but that guy's still trapping that female in there, so I'm not, I don't think I'll put them in there. I think I'll actually put those oak hides in here for the time being. I think I'll just put them under that log, just in case they don't sink. I can lift that log just up a little bit, put them underneath, and rest that log on the top of them. And the bristle nose can go in there as well, and they can use them. So uh, I can always make as many as I like later on. That's the lovely thing about nature, you can just go out, grab hold of a piece of wood, cut yourself up, some, save yourself some money and have some good fun doing it as well. Anyway, let's go back and see what these, uh, see what these little hides are doing in the pot. Right, there we go, taking them out of the water. It's only very, very mildly, they're not, they're not hot, they're just, obviously it's a bit colder than it was in there. They'll soon cool down when I put them in the water. So I think what we'll do is I'll just pop one of them things in it and we'll let it fill up. With a bit of luck, it should sink after that. Hey, look at that. Boom. We got one. And we've got two. Now if I get my little my little stick. Sorry about the shaky camera work guys. We can put one there. And one there. I like to uh, to keep them facing forwards because obviously if we want to look into them and see or I need to show you guys anything that is uh, which is starting to inhabit them, I can show you guys a little bit easier. So I'll bet you I'll give that about 10 minutes now and then I'll come back. And, um, and we'll see, I bet those shrimps are all over those hides. There's already a snail on one already. There he is. Well look at that, you make beautiful little hides. And like I say, nice and free. Boil them up and they sink pretty quickly. That was only 10 minutes boiling. 
and you've got some beautiful little pleco hides and you can make them any size you want you can take a little tiny drill bit up to the woods with you if you want to do that, that way and you can make some little tubes like the bamboo hides that I've made there as well oh, uh, I think it was well over a year ago now I made those they're still going strong yes you can take a little drill piece up there first like I say leave the branch on the tree drill the hole through it first and then cut it off and then you'll have a nice little tube boil them up and you can tie them all together as you can see the little bristle noses love living in amongst that in those tubes and it's not going to be long before the shrimp start making their way over to these and having a look at them as well giving them their seal of approval and hopefully the plecos will as well yeah like I said guys it doesn't take long for nature to realize there's something nice nice smell of wood those little baby bristle nose are all over it already look fantastic stuff mooching around little shrimps are on there all making their way towards it something new in the tank to explore and look at that they're straight in that hide already doing what nature intended them to do and that's hide away go in their little caves and be happy little plecos anyway guys I hope you like that little episode on how to make your own little oak caves as always you're all stars love you loads and I'll see you on the next episode of Mark's Aquatics bye for now just me and my guitar